Hello, and welcome to another episode of Chasing Mysteries Gardens. I'm Rebecca, and along with my wife Karen, we are on a mission to renovate and rejuvenate our little piece of earth. Today is August 19th, and we are in the midst of the Every Bit Counts Challenge, and today is going to be super easy. I keep saying everything is super easy because I don't have a lot of time. I have about less than an hour today to deal with something in the garden to put away for future use. So today I noticed that my green beans are like super long. So we're gonna pick those and I am going to try a little experiment and freeze those um, in our, we're gonna food saver them, vacuum seal them in bags and then freeze them without blanching them. I know it's controversial. Some people say you must blanch. Some people say you don't need to blanch. So I'm gonna try it without blanching and see what it tastes like in a few weeks or a month and see if I really need to do the extra step of blanching. If you don't know, blanching is simply you dunk your vegetables into hot, wa hot boiling water for a few minutes and then you plunge it into ice water to stop the cooking process. It's just an extra step that helps with saving color and texture of some vegetables and also helps keep the skin off of others very easily. So we're gonna see if we can skip that step by vacuum sealing some green beans today for the Every Bit Counts Challenge. So come along with me as we start this adventure. Look at the size of these beans. So I haven't been out in my garden for a few days and this is what happens. They're everywhere and they are very large. Some of them are small. I'm gonna take them anyway. There's a lot hiding. All right, we're gonna continue the scavenger hunt and search for our beans. Look at the size of that bean. It still tastes good. So what I'm gonna do for beans this size, I'm just gonna snap them in half like this. So they're all about, this one's not snapped, so they're all about the same size. Whoop. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> Camera's a little top heavy. All right, so I've got my larger bags now in here. So I'm gonna use one, two, three, and a half lines of a bag. So about that big. And then we're going to seal one end. All right, sealed end. Now we put the beans in. So these might turn a little brown when we cook them. The blanching process also helps stop the enzyme from that is in um, vegetables from browning as much when you put it in the freezer. So we may get some browning when we go to cook these, but I don't think it'll be too bad. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So I always thought these were called string beans because they were just long and skinny, but no, it's, whoops, that's a bad example. It's because they have a string along the edges 
And I thought I had got a variety, here we go, that was stringless, but apparently I was wrong. They can just be a little chewy when you go to eat them if you don't take that string off first. I don't mind, but Karen doesn't like it. That looks good. I did not measure. That looks, that looks enough for two of us. Again, this is just an experiment to see if I'm even gonna like it. The nice thing about doing these dry is that there's no liquid to come out and affect the seal. So I really only needed to vacuum seal this once. So that's one, let's do it again. So if your beans are dirty, or you don't grow them organically, uh, you can just rinse these off with some water. I would be sure to dry them thoroughly first. Try to get things as flat as possible. Takes up less space in the freezer. Whoops. Shoot. So I messed up and I hit the seal button before the vacuum, so it sealed it closed. But what I can do is just cut it along here to reopen it and then seal it down further. All right, take two. sealed bags of green beans. These are not blanched. I want to be sure to mark the package that they are unblanched uh, just so that when I open them I can kind of do my comparison at that time. So the nice thing about green beans is that they just keep growing and growing and growing until either the weather, weather gets them or the bugs. And I've taken care of the bugs so far and so now we'll just keep enjoying whatever the plants out there decide that they want to give us. And I have something to put in my freezer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more. And follow us as A, we continue the Every Bit Counts Challenge, and B, we'll taste test these at some point and see if unblanching is better than blanching or not better than blanching. And as always, sooky sooky. Love the earth, love yourself, love each other. Till next time. Mm -hmm.